Hey there, ladies and gentlemen. I'm Chad with CD Shave, and thank you very much for joining me for today's St. Patrick's Day Shave. Now, I know we're a little late in the evening, but I had a lot of things to get done today, so there it is. Not like jumping right into the holiday of the day, right? Today is St. Patrick's Day, and I hope you enjoy your St. or enjoyed your St. Patrick's Day. And if you're still yet to have dinner, I hope you enjoy your corned beef and cabbage or whatever else you decide to have. All right, moving on to the shave. Today we're going to be talking about Junto, right there by Strike Gold Shave. It's a really cool label there. I've had this for a little while. I've used it for a little bit. I'm really impressed with it. Uh, this is uh, handcrafted by Jennifer Marting uh, of who makes the soaps for uh, Strike Gold Shave. Strike Gold is ultimately owned by Frank Misa. And uh, this is their little creation. Also got the uh, matching aftershave to go with it. So as far as the rest of the gear, let's talk about that. Of course, we have in the aftershave are there's witch hazel cucumber scent very nice scent uh we get that right here in the jd bottle and ah brush <laughs> you lost my train of thought there for a minute wolf whiskers this is uh this was a group brush for the shave market made uh last year i believe might have been the year before last year i believe wolf whiskers and it's got a synthetic knot in it. I didn't go too crazy with the knot. I didn't really want a badger hair or anything of the sort. And for the mowing of the face, we're going into with Boker. Straight razor right there. I haven't really restored it too, too much. I kind of like the patina that's on it. It's pretty nice. It's got a nice sheen to it anyway. Uh, custom scales. Made by a friend of mine. Acrylic green. So... Pretty happy with that. I thought it went with the uh, happen to match the label a little bit. So we got the green going on there. So let's talk about the uh, talk about the scents on this. This is uh, Spanish cedar, sweet bourbon, oud, tobacco, musk, and amber. As far as I'm concerned, this is a very strong scent. You get uh, I'd say probably eight or nine off the scent strength scale, in my opinion. It's like it's like a sweet woody scent. That's really the best way I can think of after shaving with this for about a month. Not consistently. I used other things too, but I'd say it's kind of like a sweet woody scent, which is interesting because I don't think I have anything that that goes quite that angle with wood's type of scent. So anyway, that's my opinion on it. So we'll talk a little bit more about this in a minute. We're going to go ahead and get this smashed into our bowl, get the lather going, and we'll do a couple of passes. Be right back. All right there, ladies and gentlemen, all lathered up, ready to go. Plenty of soap in our bowl, way more than we're going to need for this shave. That's all right. I kind of like to make a ton of lather. Throw some water on the face. So, this soap I found to be really easy to lather. As far as, uh, they, this is uh, what they call their Patriot Base. Uh, it is tallow based. Now I've used Frank's or well Jennifer's original base when with Strike Gold. I liked it then, and I like it now. It's even more slick now. So this soap is available through. Strike Gold's website, but it's also available through the Razor Company. Uh, that's where I actually got this one from. It's $23.50 for the tub of it, and $21.60, I think, for the aftershave. Although, at this particular, when this video is being shot, they are currently out of stock on the aftershave. I'm sure they'll be back in stock. It's a, some, It seems to me like a somewhat popular of an item, as far as in his lineup is concerned. There. Not that I want it to be completely quiet during the shave, but prep is important. Let's talk about that, actually. So, I've heard some people over the years, or not heard, but I've had people come to me and say, well, you know, I, I kind of want to get into wet shaving. Not through my channel, but just people that I happen to personally know. 
I want to see what the big deal is, I get asked. And my response to them is, okay, that's not a problem, but you have to be willing to give it a shot. And what I mean by that, a lot of people will try it once and won't do their thing, don't do a thing for them, or maybe they get a little irritation or they get cut up, and that's it, they're done. Nine times out of ten, I say, well, why don't you tell me how your shave went? Tell me what happened. And they say to me, well, I took a shower. Good start. Showering is always good. Then they're like, well, and I made the lather like you told me. I put water on top of the puck and started using the brush. And I say, well, that's, that's not what I told you to do. And they say, well, yeah, but still, I mean, I should have gotten a pretty good shave. And I'm like, no, that's not how you do it. So, and then they'll say something to me like, okay, well, then... I just went in and shaved like I normally do. I said, well, why would you do that? If you know it doesn't work for you, try something else. So they'll, they'll say, well, I went and I shaved right, you know, against the grain. And I said, well, first of all, you didn't properly prep your face. I said, did you throw water on your face before you applied, even applied what lather you made? No. I've never done that before. Okay. 90% of this is prep. If you have, if you have crappy technique, if you have a good lather and a good soap, your technique can be, can be a little crappy. You know, that it can make up for that sort of. So, a majority of this, like I said, is prep. What you want to do is take a shower, but while you are, you want to pay attention to how you're prepping your beer in the shower. Don't just jump in there and wash your face with soap like you normally do. Take a minute and run that hot water on your face. Let it soak in because you got to rehydrate those bristles or the uh, the whiskers. And if you don't, you're going to run into problems trying to cut them. Especially if you're talking about straight razor shaving. You need to make sure you really prep your face. So, like I said, first and foremost, hydrate your skin or hydrate your beard in that shower. Makes it way easier to cut. Also, get a little growth. I found it was way easier to learn to wet shave straight razor or otherwise, if I allowed for some growth. Gives you a little bit of room to play with. 
gives the uh, razor something to grab. So, make sure you do that with the water. Really soak your face. Then, make sure, and you don't even have to have a great shave soap. You can use something that's kind of mediocre. As long as you spend the time making the lather. Make sure it's nice and hydrated or it's full, it's, good, it's dense. You know, work, add water slowly. Once you get that good lather going, you really want to make sure that you so like I said you really want to make sure you have a good lather after that wet your face wet your face before you throw some of that lather on there it's just going to give another layer of protection it's just going to help keep those whiskers hydrated, especially if you have a shave soap that, like I said, is mediocre. That's okay. Just, you know, it, throw the water on to give it that little extra. And it helps hydrate. Adds a little bit, a little bit more to the uh, shave soap. So you've hydrated your face, you've wet your face, you made a good lather, and you're shaving. Make sure part of the prep is throughout the shave. In between passes, rinse your face. Just throw a little bit of layer, uh, layer of water on there. Use every little bit helps it really does and then that's pretty much it as far as prep is concerned the after effect is well you know you're looking for like you want to treat it with with you know obviously get a good rinsing you want to get all that soap off there you leave soap on there i found that you tend to invite yourself to irritation later on And then finally, your post-shave, you want to add whatever your face really needs. Obviously, it's a little different for everybody, but, you know, witch hazel, some aftershave, and then a balm. Just part of the post-shave. And that way, you at least set yourself up for a good shave. Now, if you're a little too harsh with your technique or your technique is, you know, just not that stellar, that's, you know, yes, you're going to, you might feel that, you might nick yourself, but at least you're giving yourself that much more forgiveness with the razor and technique because you prepped your face. Okay, take care of this quadrant, and then we'll move on to the post shave.
All right. Again, in between passes, rinse your face. Definitely off to a good start here. All right. I'm going to go uh, finish up my, my other pass and just get it done, get the shave done, and we'll see you guys in the post shave. We'll talk again. All right, ladies and gentlemen, we are back. Shave has been completed. All the passes have been done. Really, really nice shave. No nicks or cuts or anything like that. Let's go with the Thayer's Witch Hazel right here. Like I was telling you before, as far as prep is concerned, there's also a post shave. Well, end prep. Kind of like the closing, right? Post shave, if you will. And just throw on a little bit of witch hazel. We'll let that sit in there while we talk about that. The witch hazel for me it gives it a nice cooling sensation. It's not like menthol, it just kind of adds to it and uh, or adds to the to the shave. It just kind of cools and calms the face a little bit and it helps kind of put it back to where it was before you started shaving. And then while that's doing that, we get our uh, aftershave on standby here. So as we were talking earlier too, this, this is the shave soap right here that we use Junto. I love this soap. It smells really, really nice. I really like the take that they did on it. I'm pretty happy with it. It's something I'll be using quite frequently. The Patriot base that they have for this is really nice. It's very, very slick, real easy to lather, and the, the density is crazy. It's really, really, really off the charts as far as I'm concerned. All right, face is dry enough. Throw a little bit of this. Alcohol based aftershave. Incidentally, the uh, aftershave does match the soap. Um, as I've said before in my videos, that's not always the case. I do get a little bit more of the tobacco though, as it dries. But And. Ladies and gentlemen, that is the shave. If you have any questions or comments, please put it in the comment section below about this shave or any of my shaves for that matter. I'll be happy to get to them as soon as I can. If you like this video, please give it a thumbs up, but do make sure you subscribe. Just when you do, hit that bell. That way you get a notification every time we do a new video here at CD Shaving, because folks, we do not follow a schedule. That's the name of the game here. All right, ladies and gentlemen, thank you very much for joining me. I am Chad, and we'll see you guys and girls in the next video.